using Prezi to create dynamic presentations. By Eugene D. Keeley. Click Next to progress. Prezi is a cloud-based presentation software that opens up a new world between whiteboards and slides. The zoomable canvas makes it fun to explore ideas and the connections between them. The result? Visually captivating presentations that lead your audience down a path of discovery. Creating your Prezi account. Go to www.prezi.com. This is the Prezi homepage. Here you can see some sample pretzels that other people have made. Click Sign Up Now. Select the free option for now. Enter your details here. Or else you can sign up using your Facebook login. Creating your first Prezi. Click New Prezi. Enter a title. A short description. Finally, click New Prezi again. Double click the text to change what it says. Enter a title. Click here to set the text alignment. I'm going to set mid aligned. Click on the options below the text to change the formatting. I am going to use title. Above the text to reposition it. Click here to change the text to bullet point. I'm going to change the font of this section to body. Now I'm going to enter more bullet points. I'm using cut and paste to quickly enter the bullet points. Now I'm going to resize the text. Click an empty space to deselect the text. Now click the center of the text. Click on this blue section of the widget and drag in or out to resize the text. I'm going to reposition the text by clicking the hand at the center of the widget and dragging it. I'm going to resize the text again so that it looks better. Duplicating content quickly. To adjust your view of the artboard, zoom in and out using the scroller on your mouse. You can also drag the artboard around by clicking and dragging. To select a section of content, hold down the shift key and drag the mouse over the content. Now copy and paste as normal. Drag the new content to a better location. Paste another copy and relocate this as well. If you make a mistake just press Command plus Z key Mac or Control plus Z key Window. Double click to edit text as usual.
press the escape key to deselect quickly. Inserting media. We're going to start with arrows. Click insert here. Click on the arrows button. Click on the artboard and then drag out the arrow. You can add other shapes similarly. Select the object and then press delete if you change your mind. I'm going to reposition this arrow by dragging it to a new location. Now I'm going to select the arrow so I can change its direction. You can move the ends or the middle to change the conformation of the arrow. Now I'm going to reselect the arrow and change the color to red. Select the arrow again so that you can copy and paste it. Drag it to its new location. Click to select. Now rotate the arrow by dragging the outermost ring of the widget. Images. In the Insert menu, click Images. You can select a file from your computer. Select the file and then click Open. Enter the search term here and then press Enter. A list of available images comes up. I'm going to choose this one. It will take a few seconds to be inserted. Now I'm going to reposition it and resize it. I'm going to insert another image now. Click Insert Image again. Deselect this box to show all images available on Google. Enter the new search term. Going to use the King of Hearts. Once you have selected the image, reposition and resize it as before. videos. Click insert. Now click YouTube video. Open YouTube in a new tab. Copy the link for the YouTube video. Paste the link here. Click the insert button. Select the video by left clicking. Resize and reposition the video. You can also insert videos from your hard drive. In the insert menu, click File. Select the desired video. Click the open button. Scroll out to see the video. Select the video.
Resize and reposition it. Drawings and diagrams. Click it. Click the diagrams option. Here you can see the available options. Choose the appropriate one. Click choose. Reposia turn the diagram. Click the tick when you are happy. You can edit the diagram just like before. The text is editable. And so are the images. And you can add more content wherever you wish. Resize and reposition it, linking it all up. First, I'm going to put a circle frame around the whole presentation. Now I'm going to resize. Select the frame and drag these icons to resize and reshape the frame. To change the default colors click Click Theme Wizard Click Next I'm going to change circle frames to an orange color Now I'm going to set up the finish path Drag the first point to the circle frame so that is the start of the prezi Next I'm going to drag number 2 to the first frame in the sequence. I'm going to delete the earlier points that I made to make things easier. Zoom into the slides to get a better look at what you are doing. This will be the next point in the... I will make a view of the full presentation the last point in the path I have to zoom out to do so. You can preview any of the path points by clicking them here. You can create new points in the path by dragging the middle of the connecting lines to new And any point in the path can be rearranged. Finally, I will walk you through what to do with your Prezi when you have finished making it. Make sure that you have saved your Prezi. Click I. Select your Prezi. You can also share the URL with others. Click here to copy. 
You can also download your Prezi as a standalone file that will play in both Windows and Mac. Click download. Click this link to download the Prezi. Here is the downloaded Prezi folder. Double click the Prezi file. Here you can see you Prezi. Go explore. If you want some inspiration for your own Prezi's, try this.